Hi family and welcome to another of my videos. Today we are going to try some new products from Morphe, their new Morphe Filter Effect Foundation, their all Filter Effect Brush and Sponge Duo, and also their new 9M Melon Pop eyeshadow palette and also I'm going to try the new Sigma color and shape brow powder duo so if you want to see me trying these products then please keep on watching okay guys so I'm going to start to moisturize my skin while I'm talking uh, please let me know down below what you think about these lights I got new lights for filming and I know if the color and everything is okay please let me know down below if I'm too yellow too orange or too pink or something I think it looks good but you never know how it's going to look when you watch it so hopefully it looks okay I want to start with this palette now when I saw this on Instagram I immediately fell in love I love everything that has with melons to do I love eating melons watermelons regular melons all of the melons I just love that I uh, love those and when I saw this packaging I was in love when I saw the palette I was in love and I had to get it. This is nine popping melon shades. This watermelon inspired palette is serving juicy pops of color and rich neutral hues in shimmery and matte finishes. You'll be looking like a whole fruit snack. And I just love really the color steam. So I need to show you the packaging is so damn cute. I just love it, love it, love it. Look at this. Look at this. It's, pl it's plastic packaging. Now it has also a nice smear in here, but look at these shades. They look really, really nice. I just love these shades. So I'm going to peel off this plastic. Ooh, and the mirror is very, very nice in here. And I'm going to wear this. I'm going to try this today on the eyes. And I also have the new... Um, Glam Light eyeshadow primers that I purchased, but I'm going to do another video and try out those how it's going to wear on oily, oily eyelids because I have really, really oily. So I'm going to zoom you in a little bit, or am I zooming in enough? I think it's enough. Let me know down below if you would like me to zoom in more in the future because I never know how you're going to say it. So now we finally have Morphe in Sweden. And I'm very glad that we get most of the stuff. Usually when we have new brands, we don't get everything. Like Rare Beauty. Rare Beauty just arrived to Sweden. And we didn't get any palette. We did get the foundation, the primer, the setting spray. The foundation brush actually was sold out when I was purchasing on website. Blushes and the lipsticks. And lip glosses but the eyeshadow palettes nope none of those i'm going to set everything with some powder just a little bit on my i'm going to use my finger just to set it usually i go with a brush or something but i'm too lazy today i just want to go in to this palette i did zoom in a little bit because i felt like i was a little bit too far so i'm going to go in to this palette and i do want to go in with this pink shade that is called watermelon maybe this pink shade here and i'm going to you can see you can't pull this the whole way this is as long as i can pull it and i broke it but maybe that's a good thing sometimes i do like morphe quality of the eyeshadows not all of the eyeshadows are the best some of them are hit some of them is but usually i do have all of the Jaclyn Hill collections with Morphe and I really like that formula so I do enjoy Morphe products I'm very excited about the foundation oh look at this that's pigment and I'm going to bring it very high almost to my eyebrows oh I need to fix my eyebrows it looks like a disaster but I do have discoloration, I don't know if you can see on my eyelids, so that's not the eyeshadow, it's my eyelids. 
and I love watermelons. That's my favorite. Stra strawberries, cherries, and watermelons. Favorite fruit and berries. I'm going to go in with Cash Beauty 08 brush, this smaller blending brush, and go into this red shade that I think it's Conchile. Conchile? I don't know. Or Snack Time. I don't know what shade it is what. There are some fallout, they are powdery, but let's see, there we're going to put, oh my god, look how bright this one is, so stunning. Please let me know down below what you think about the lights in this video, is it too much, is it too bright? I think I'm going to press it, so it get even. I'm going to go in and use Huda Beauty's concealer to clean up the eyelid. And I'm going to use this brush from Zoeva, number 238. That's like a very small red brush. And I'm going to try to concentrate right now. I don't know if you can hear my kids and my husband talking. They're playing Minecraft or Minecraft together so you'll probably hear them talking okay guys I did my best I don't know if they are even I'm not even going to try anymore <laughs> but we are going to go in and apply some eyeshadow and I'm going to take the Soso and Kayla collab number five brush and I do want to go in with, hmm, I want to use so many shades, this light green in the center. I think it's called Sweet Sandia. Sandia. I maybe butcher that name, but let's see. Oh, it's pigmented. Okay, so with the same brush, I'm going to go into this green shade here. My God, I don't know. I think it's rice and rind. Maybe I just say wrong shades. Or oh, just dip my finger in it. Okay. And apply it here on the... Ooh, look at that. Love these shades. Then I'm going to go in with the brush that we used before, just clean it, number 8 from Cash Beauty that we had for this red up here. And I'm going to go into this shade here, Too Juiced. And just apply it here. Ooh, that's pigmented. Oh. And I'm slightly just blending without adding more eyeshadow. I'm not going in and moving, pressing too hard because this shade is patchy if you start moving it around. So just press it on the lid and leave it there. So if you want to um, blend it, then clean the brush, leave them and just press it around to blend it and then I want to go in and take a pointy brush like smaller I'm going to take this uh, Morphe and Jaclyn Hill at 42 this small brush and go into this shade here oh that's they're very soft press I don't know if you can see and I create like a liner here Just to dip it up a little bit. So a little bit of fallout and the mirror is a little bit dusty. I don't know if you can see because the eyeshadows, but I mean, that's not bother me, bothering me. Okay, I just love how everything looks. 
I'm going to take this kind of eyeliner brush. This is also from Cash Beauty number 12. And I want to, let's see, I'm going to swatch these two. This is more, um, mm, more like orangey color. This is more gold. I'm going to take this gold color, this one here. I'm going to wet the brush and try to create like an eyeliner at the edges so they look a little bit better. I don't know how I'm going to... I'm going to mess up this makeup look, maybe we'll see. I can't stop doing this, sorry guys. I think I did a good job. It's very powdery, this... I don't know if you can see it. Um, how it crumbled here, but I think it looks good. It's going to look much better after applying the rest of the makeup, but let's go into the foundation. This is what I'm, sorry guys, this is what I'm also very excited about, is actually the foundation. So I'm going to prime my face. Primer, I'm going to go in with this NYX Bear With Me primer. Ooh, applied a little bit too much. Ooh, I wasn't thinking. I forgot how much to apply. Uh, I bought this set, bought the sponge and also the brush. It says, meet the ultimate pair to team up with a filter, so uh, filter effect soft focus foundation for seamless natural looking coverage. This beautiful sponge creates a uh, crystal tip for precision, pre precise application while the synthetic brush is made for blending perfectly. In this packaging came also the sponge. This is where the sponge was, but this is how much it actually Became. It became very big after wearing it and I really like it. It says this sponge is made with a velvety microfiber material that creates a smooth natural looking finish. Uh, this sponge is made with a velvety microfiber material that creates a smooth natural looking finish. Just add water and give it good squeeze. Pair with your favorite Morphe foundation and blend the rolls. Keep it clean. Okay, that's the sponge. And also, I f it feels very soft, but it's that kind of mixer about uh, between the microfiber and also the regular sponge. And the brush is very interesting. I haven't even opened it. I have plenty of brushes. It's not like I need any new foundation brush, but it looks so good. I don't know if you can see it. And look at the details here. It's it feels very expensive, so. It feels also very soft. So we are going to try it. Now I bought this foundation in shade medium nine. I think it's so hard to match on the website. It's very hard. So I just, you know, took a chance and bought this one. This is the long wear oil free natural finish foundation, hydrates skin and blurs in perfection for the ultimate soft focus look. It is hyaluronic, it has. Uh, hyaluronic acid, a skin smooth uh, moisture booster, vitamin E, powerful, that's a powerful antioxidant, and glycerin, a, a hydrator for a healthy looking glow. Like I said, I have it in shade 9, medium 9. And I think it's, uh, I did took a, like a swatch yesterday, it looks to be a okay, you know, color or shade. So I'm going to shake it and I'm going to try to apply one side with the sponge, one side with the brush and the other side with the sponge, just to see. So I'm going to take two pumps. It doesn't have, have any, you know, scent. Let's see, I'm going to use this. I just like this palette, so damn cute. Let's see. Okay, we can work with this shade. Oh, the brush is so soft. Uh, right now I can see that it's not full coverage, it's medium coverage. I really like the brush. So it looks really good with this brush. Doesn't have any streaks. Medium coverage. 
can still see some of my imperfections and birth marks, but it looks really good, the foundation. It also sank nice into the skin. I can't even feel the foundation on the skin, which is really, really good. So I'm going to go in and try it with the sponge. So I'll put more on, on my hand and just see how it looks looking on this side. Ooh, the sponge is kind of big. Okay. Mm, I don't know how I feel about this sponge. I thought that I would like the sponge more than I like the brush, but right now applying the foundation. I feel like there is some texture on my skin after applying it with the sponge. I'm not liking the sponge. So I'm going in with the brush. This is a shock. Usually I prefer using the sponge for the foundation. So I really like how the brush fix everything, but something on this part of the nose looks funny. It's definitely medium coverage. I try to build it up a little bit, but you can still see my uh, what it's called, the um, pimple here. But I have to say, it's not the worst color on me. It could be definitely a little bit deeper, but I like this foundation. It looks like I have foundation on, but it looks good. It doesn't look heavy, doesn't feel heavy at all. I'm not in love with the sponge. I have to say, I'm not in love with the sponge. I don't like the mi mi microfiber kind of sponges. It, they don't usually work. I'm going to go in with my concealer and I'm going to use my Joa Beauty concealer because I know this concealer works. Okay, good, done. Under the eyes as well. Well, I like how it feels under the eyes. It's blending concealer better than the foundation. I have to be honest. Well, I like this sponge up to apply my concealer with because I really like how it fits under the eyes and it blends the concealer really, really good. I really like how this sponge blended the concealer. Do not like it for the foundation, but I definitely did like it for the concealer. So I'm going to set everything and I'm going to go in with my um, air sponge that I got from my friend Valerie. I had this before and I just love this and asked it asked her to send this in my in our box swap and she did. Thank you, by the way. I just love this powder. It has strong scent, but I really like the scent. I'm not I don't know if I'm the only one, but I do like the scent. It's really strong, but I really like this sponge to apply the powder to. Oh my face looks snatched. It looks really, really good. I like this sponge for applying the concealer and the powder and the foundation looks really, really good. It looks like I have foundation on. It doesn't give me that natural look. Maybe if I apply less, it will give me that natural, soft makeup look, but it looks really, really good. I love it. Okay, so I am going to bronze my skin. And for the bronzer, I'm going to go in with my hourglass. I love this bronzer. And for the blush, I'm going to go in with this palette here. It's called ba ba Bonds. Bonds? I don't know how <laughs> to pronounce it. And I do want to go in with this shade here. I love this palette. Go in with Sweet Cheeks. And I am going to go in with this highlighter here, actually to give me that nice glow. I feel like I do want to finish my eyebrows before I go in with the rest of the makeup. So I'm going to try today the new Sigma Color and Shape Brow Powder Duo. I have it in shade medium. And let's go in. I do like using the 
the powder for the eyebrows. It's very fast and almost always it looks really good. So I was kind of curious to go in and try some new. Look at this packaging, it's so cute. This is the medium. So I'm going to go in with the light shade here and then I'm going to go with the darker shade. Oh, it's very pigmented. And I'm using the Cash Beauty number 11. And then I'm going to set everything with my nude stick uh, brow boost and set gel. I really like this powder. It's very pigmented. The shade is nice. It's very pigmented. So uh, I went a little bit overboard. I feel like I made them a little bit darker than I usual like, but it looks really good. It's very pigmented and I love this eyebrow gel too. I'm going to go and finish the lower lash line now. So I'm going in with this shade here on the lower lash line. And I am going to go in with the brush that I used before, number, oh my god, you can hear my kids so loud, sorry guys, 42, Jaclyn Hill and Morphe. And I'm just going to go like a third of my eye to connect. And then I do want to go in with this pink shade here. This shade here. I am going to go in with the first shade here in the... And try to... Oh, that's nice. I like this shade. Definitely has fallout. I am going to apply some mascara and some lashes and I'll be right back. Okay guys, so this is the eyes and the lashes. These are Demi Whispers from Ardell. Now, I had some problem applying my eyelashes today. I know why my eyes are so sensitive. It's been a struggle for at least 30-40 minutes. Okay, I've been sweating like hell. Okay, so I'm also going to try or wear again because I already <laughs> worn it once. This is the Fenty Beauty Gl Gloss Balm Heat Cherry. Oh my god, like I said, hot cherry. Everything that has to do with cherries, I'm gonna buy. Even if it's not a good product. Okay, so I am good. Well, just hurt myself. Let's apply it. I'm not going to apply any lip liner. Just going in with this. And it's going to plump my lips and make them look juicy and fuller. It does give you heat to the lips. So if you don't like that kind of tingly heat feeling on your lips, then you won't like this product. Okay guys, so this is the final look. I did go in with some setting spray to apply and this is the final look. Oh my god, my hair looks like a mess. But what do you think? I love it. I really love it. I love this palette. Now, it is... I feel like this color is a little bit harder to work with. It does get patchy if you start blending blending it directly. You have to be careful and kind of build it in, pat it and build it that way. But they are powdery, so if you don't like that, maybe you won't like this, but I really, really like this palette. I know I can swatch a couple of shades just to show you guys. I didn't use this one. Can't we use it? I don't have anything here. Why do I swatch it? I'm interested to see. This is the black. Hmm. 
Yes, they are they are pigmented. Very pigmented. So I am going to try the last this right in the center because we didn't use it. So I'm going to go and clean this brush and let's oh it's black. We're going to destroy the makeup. Let's go in with it up here. Oh, I like that. Oh, that's a nice color to kind of make everything more bright. I like that color too. So we tried every color in here. I love this palette. I'm glad to have it. It makes me happy. It makes me love playing with makeup. It gives me some energy. I love it. Obsessed with it. I really enjoy this foundation. It looks really, really good. It looks very, it feels like I have, or it looks like I have a filter on my face. I just don't like how it sits here on my nose. And it's something about my nose. Many of the foundations, almost all of the foundations don't want to sit beautifully and even on my nose. I don't know why. I try to exfoliate. I try to moisturize. It's just something weird. I, I think we all have that kind of some spot on our face that, or maybe most of us have a spot on our face that we are not happy with. Their makeup doesn't want to stick. And this part is my problem area. But it looks really good on my skin. I really like it. I can't even feel like I have makeup on my Face. Can you see my lips getting red? I'm sorry to changing subject, but my lips get red and I really like it. Uh, where was I? Yes, I really love this foundation. Really love it. Fun love the foundation. I'm very happy with it. Now, uh, the brush. I love the brush. I really like the brush. It will be perfect for contour to cream contour products. I really, really enjoy the brush. I have a love and hate relationships with the sponge. Uh, I feel like it didn't really work so beautifully for the foundation, but perfect for the concealer and for the powder. Just love it for that. Nice, nice, nice. The Sigma eyebrow products, love them too. Everything looks so good and I'm really, really happy with it. So this is the final look, guys. Let me know down below if you tried any of these products. Are you interested? What do you think about them? Would you purchase it yourself? Let me know down below. Thank you so much for watching. And I hope I see you in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe and see you. Love you all. Bye.